Hello and welcome. And today we're going to learn how to do a multi-battery swap in a drone mapping mission. So I'm making this video in response to some of you having this question from my drone mapping step-by-step -step guide. And this happens to be my best video on YouTube. So thank you very much for watching. So during that video, we actually only covered a small portion of the land. I only required one battery. And that was merely just to show you the process of mapping and how it works for educational purposes. So in this video, we're actually going to test Maps Made Easy and Drone Link and see how each of these platforms handle multi-battery swaps during a mapping mission. Does it work? Is it straightforward? And if it does go wrong, how can it be fixed? So this isn't going to be a tutorial or step-by-step -step guide for the whole mapping process. We're merely just going to focus on the multi-battery swap part. However, I will share with you the end result so you can see. If you want to learn more about the drone mapping process, be sure to check out my video that I made and that link will be in the description box down below. Now let's head out to our chosen destination and we'll run the first test. So see you guys there. dead straight and it was just taking the pictures in one line until I had to reset it back to 90 degrees and it flipped up to 80 degrees so I don't think we're going to get an accurate map but for the purpose of the video for multi-battery swap drone link has worked better I forgot to put the DJI uh, what's it called? oh mics the mics anyway you probably still hear me as for maps made easy when we map ran map pilot pro when I put in the second battery it just hovered around 100 feet and it wasn't doing anything tried landing it taking off and just no response very weird maybe we can run that test again in the future however drone link looks to be finished right now we won't have an accurate map but swapping batteries with drone link was much easier and we're coming home i don't know if you can see that <sighs> should we see how accurate it is to come back oh. that's fine my phone doesn't have that. Come on, that's my phone you plug. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Will it? Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, Do you know what? No way. No way. I never use that. Huh? I never use that. Yeah, but for that to be that accurate. That's crazy. Like that, that Okay, that is a success. Okay, back to the studio. All right, those were some interesting results. So let me unpack and we'll break down what actually happened. Right, before we go over what actually happened, if you enjoyed this video and you're finding value from this video, remember to give it a like for the algorithm as it does help boost the video to others to find and watch to learn about drone mapping, especially with the multi-battery setup, as there's not many videos covering it. So it's much appreciated. Now let's go over the results. Map Pilot Pro, what actually happened? So it's actually straightforward to set up. However, it, when it was running the mission, I did have to shorten the barrier a little bit so it wouldn't hit the buildings. Now, when it came to the end of the life for the battery, it was straightforward. It said low battery at around 30%, which is good. It gives you enough buffer there to come back, especially if it was far or a particularly windy day. Drone came back, landed. I landed it manually because it's a lot quicker. 
and then it popped up with the, inst the instruction on screen saying turn off the drone, insert the new battery and turn on and then click hit, battery change happened. That's what I did, I followed the instructions as per Map Pilot Pro and then when I went to resume the mission, drone took off and it was hovering about 100 feet in the air with the camera pointing straight down and then nothing actually happened, it was just hovering for a while. So I decided to land it, try it again by turning it off on and off, doing the battery swap, again same result, just hovering around 100 feet with the camera pointing straight down, didn't do anything. And that's when I decided to just abandon the mission because I only have four sets of batteries and I wanted to be able to test out DroneLink as well. Now DroneLink, what actually happened? So this first required me to go into DJI Fly app to import the non-flight zone restriction, which I did through the DJI Unlock, which was straightforward. So that was the only glitch. You can't do it through DroneLink itself. Once that was done, you hit the play button and then the drone took off and started mapping the mission. No issues there. The one thing I did notice, I don't know if it was me that maybe I touched something by accident, but the gimbal was pointing 90 degrees down. And then on the second or third leg, the camera angle was pointing straight forward. So I'm not gonna get a proper map because it's gonna be completely messed up. And then even at some point when the drone was turning to make each leg, the gimbal had pointed to 80 degrees, not 90 degrees. So I'm not sure why that was happening, but it hasn't happened in the past, hence my other videos, but we can try this again at some point. Now, the speed the drone was flying at looked like it was gonna complete the mission under one battery, and I wasn't doing a cross pattern, I was just doing uh, a single pattern. So I did pause the mission halfway through, the battery was around 24%. Brought the drone back to land, and this was straightforward. I turned the drone off, put the battery in, and again, had to go through the DJI Fly app to import the non-flight zone restriction. As soon as you hit play, drone went back to its last point and then finished off the mission, which was only like a few more pictures. The best part of drone link, to be honest, when the drone came to return to home, the drone landed dead on the landing pad. No way! Which I was surprised about. No RTK, just GPS coordinates. Very impressive. Like. Round of applause there to the Mini 2. So those were the actual results for Maps Made Easy and Drone Link for the multi-battery swap. So we know that Maps Made Easy has an issue and I will be contacting their support to find out why this has happened and how to resolve this issue to get it working. We can do a future video on that. Drone Link is very straightforward, except you just have to pay for it. It's a one-time fee if it's like educational, recreational use. However, I do say that the commercial rates are pretty reasonable if you're doing this uh, at a commercial level. So this is probably a very good way to enter into mapping on a commercial basis. I do recommend it. So if you want to see a completed map with either drone link or maps made easy, if I get a solution to that fix, then let me know by putting a comment down below. Remember to give this video a like and share this video with a friend who you think will find this interesting. Subscribe for more drones, photography, and everything in between, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.